Okay, I just wanted to show you the project I uh, did today uh, that I was watching a YouTube video on, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it myself. So, uh, yes, I made a uh, USB uh, controller adapter, which allows me to connect. Uh, well, here's an Xbox One, but you can use a PlayStation 4, a Switch controller, um, and, and a, a bunch of other controllers as well. Um, apparently it does work with, uh, Bluetooth as well, but I, uh, have not even tested that mode, and apparently it's in, uh, well, development mode, and I don't think it's going to go any further, but for what we have here right now, um, it works, and, uh, I do have it connected to the computer right now, as you can see down there, the orange cable kind of not focused, there, there we go, um, yeah, so here is the website, um, yes, uh, uh, yeah, so I got a little Pico Pie here, um, which I used for a, a Wii U project, which, uh, at this point in time, uh, was not, uh, like, I'm no longer using it, so I wanted to, uh, use it for something that would be great. Now, the most important thing about using one of these is, um, being able to connect it to systems which are harder to get controllers for, um, or, you know, replacing a battery can be a pain in the ass. So, um, yeah, like PlayStation 3, okay? So there's a good example. Controller dies and you have nothing else handy, but you have, might have one of these just laying around and maybe a female uh, USB cable, which you solder to the board, as you can see right here. A little bit of a dirty job, but I eventually got it to work. Uh, what happened was I connected the wires in the wrong spot. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, the green and the white. Yeah, I had the white at the top and the green in the middle, and that was not working. But now it works, uh, and of course I got my Xbox controller uh, working here. So, uh, yes, uh, what controllers are compatible with this device? Um, your wired controllers, uh, you, you've got the X, original Xbox uh, Duke and S, uh, Xbox 360. Yes, the wireless adapter uh, can be used, um, which is kind of good because then you have a wireless controller. Um, you can use the One Series and Elite, uh, DualShock 3, DualShock 4, DualSense. Uh, yeah, so you can connect all these and... Uh, this is uh, your inputs for changing what type of controller you want your plugged-in controller to be used. And all you do is you, you plug in your controller, and if it lights up and it's working, you press these commands for what controller you want to use. So, uh, example here, uh, I got my controller in my hand, and I'm going to set it to... Um, I'm going to set it to the... Play, uh, the Switch, Nintendo Switch, okay? So I'm just gonna hold the start and down button and the button should reset itself. Okay, so I think I just pressed the Xbox button again and it is connected. So now we're gonna go to my terminal here and I'm gonna press the LS USB to list the USB devices. And as you can see right there, it is known as a Horiko Pokin controller, which is a third-party switch controller, and it indeed does work. So, yeah, you can connect this to your switch now. Now that you have it in uh, switch input mode, it will be known as a Hori controller. And that is just a badass. These adapters cost 10 bucks, and, well, a cable... Uh, if you have a spare one around, you could always use that or just buy one off the internet and then solder it in and boom, you are good to go. I'm so happy with this.